Meanwhile, in old Charlene. Everything. Ah! I wanted to click on that. Oh, fuck. Oh, finished at last. At last. So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? <laughs> Little robot cuties. Finally! Now then, let's have a look at you. So, if you didn't watch the uh, Dawn Trail uh, full trailer, we know that she becomes a uh, Pictomancer, which is absolutely adorable. Um, I'm guessing like that letters is like to invite them uh, to the challenge and things like that. But I'm wondering. How she learns to to be a picto uh, pictomancer. That's a cute envelope. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. No, read. Okay, good. <gasps> Addressed to grandfather. And come all the way from Tuli Yolal. From a Gulu someone. Wait, are we in the next expansion? Are we going to see her grandfather? Ah, oh, that would be so cool. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Oh. Come on, give me something. A commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. Hmm. Something else in here. Oh, that's cute. What an unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural. When was the last time that she saw him? Is that where the female Rothgard's gonna appear? It's our favorite mill, Via. <sighs> Back again already, after making a show of leaving. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, this is it, Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliola, yes? Come, let's go and find your candidate, our adventurer friend. Ow. Oh. So the female Rothgard like commissioned him to find a good, um, proper candidate. That's cool. Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? Spend such a long time about it, we didn't hear his voice. <laughs> ah! The New World, Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce. Aye, she hails from there. I present to you... Where is she? Where is she? Uh, well, it seems you've lost her. 
<laughs> Cute. Did she wander off? <sighs> oh, there. There she is. Sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Cute. Oh, the accent. While you were exploring, your candidate came to us. Hehe. <laughs> this is her. The adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. <gasps> I'm Wuklamat, claimant to the throne of Tulihuela. Wuklamat. It's cute. Tulihuela. It's Turan's Yeah, she's garden. very epic. The capital bears the same name. Okay. Yeah, no, it's really cool seeing it like in game, the new race, and the details like on her um, outfit, the costume is really cool. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Given the magnitude of the request. Perhaps you should explain why you're making it? <laughs> She's like me. Sucks at explaining shit. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The Rite of Succession. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds, who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. <laughs> She asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. <laughs> Is he a bit of a tsundere? <laughs> He's shy. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who ruled in Tural? Yeah, maybe she's like Pippin, who's adopted. Tulihyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulja, as some across the seas are quick to assume. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja, and one blessed with two heads besides. <laughs> He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously, but he raised me as his own, and that's what matters. Yes. So that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. No. <laughs> Hardly. I know little about your land, and nothing about your parentage. <laughs> ah, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. Oh my god, she's so rough. That's funny. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. Yes, that's what we want. No, this is only a rumor. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valley Armanda. Oh, the accent. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. <laughs> what do I say? Okay. You have my complete attention. This is strictly a rumor, nothing more. Golden City. I heard I've heard about it before. Yes, because of Emmet! <laughs> So the tales have reached even these shores. 
<laughs> I can't help but feel proud. Yes, no, but. <laughs> I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. You don't know that? Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay, so they knew each other for a long time then. Okay, because I did see some fan art of these two together quite a lot, so... Makes sense. <laughs> and the Golden City. Just like in the letter to Grandfather. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. But in the trailer, they have um, two teams as they've been, well, at least during uh, FanFest, that's what Yushi P said. So I'm trying to think of like one team where would, who it would be. So it would be Wukramat, us, Alfino, and Erinville. But during one of the previous patch that we have, um, we, well, at least in our point of view as the player, we saw uh, Thancred and Uriange talking about like something of a contest or something coming up regarding all of that. So, of course, they're going to be on the other team, but who in their team would want to be the ruler that to, to, to win that game? It wouldn't be one of the Scions, at least. It wouldn't really make sense, I, I feel like. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> Unless there's another person from over there that commissioned Thank Red and Yanji and the others. I would guess on the other team it would be with Alize, Thank Red, Yanji, and uh, Ishtola. But on, in our team, I would guess there could be more. Now, Graha is on. Kral and, maybe Kral and Graha are gonna be in our team. I like this place. Especially the music fits From the here, vibe. We must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Ooh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh no! Illegal! I'm I'm a Canadian, please do not do that. Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. Yes, please. I know. I know. <laughs> so this is the aisle where Aether literally bursts forth. Aye. The Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. Oh! He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. Okay. I think it's all uh, Uriyashin Thancred's team. It's gonna be her brother that's gonna lead. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. <laughs> this brother of yours, he has been to Charliot. He has. Kona's my second older brother, and until recently, he was a student in this city. I wonder what race he would be. He went on and on about technological amusements. He made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studio. Hmm. 
He went to the studio. Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlien to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. Unless if he uh, decided to, like, gave up his place in the royal family or the throne, pretty much. So much that he did, he's no longer a part of uh, the royalty. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Makes sense. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. <gasps> Wait, I think I know who it is. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I think I know who it is. Let me get an image. <laughs> uh, Don Trail Art. This? Yes, okay. So, we see her. Let, let me just go do that. So we see she's right there. But I feel like her brother would be this guy, since it's a Mikote. And he pretty sure he's a machinist, because it's the same outfit as I'm... Or almost the same... Is it the same outfit as I'm wearing? Yes, it is, because I see some buckles. It's just the color that is different. But I'm pretty sure that's the brother, and he would be lead of, like, the, the technology city or whatnot. Let me... Let me see. Oh, yeah, to that. He would be someone that created that because he looks he looks pretty like techie. Oh, I'm really excited. That's that's what I'm feeling that it could be. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. <laughs> Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, why am I wearing that earring? I don't want that. <laughs> Sorry, that's so not important. Let's find them and learn what you can. Yeah, pretty sure it's the same outfit as I'm wearing right now. But it's just a different color. I'm surprised that they kept, like, a previous one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can confirm it is. The researcher should be just ahead. There. The building to the northeast. So, ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that thinks to try me. <laughs> right. Let's hunt our kill. Okay, that's a bit loud for me. Um, Someone's in trouble. <gasps> Cute. Yeah, taste my axe. These animals are usually so docile. If they were docile but decided to attack, is it because of the that researcher who did something? Yeah, thanks to you. Are you still alright? The hard press survive surveyor. Oh, thank goodness you've come. Oh, oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're one of 
who entered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You are! Yahoo, the adventurer who saved our star! Our star! With that, with that our meeting was under better sim stance. That's a hard word to say. Uh, I was conducting a routine inspection of the uh, transporter where uh, here when I suddenly found myself surrounded. You'll find more of these same across the champs. Uh, once those all animal grow strangely aggressive, my colleagues there can tell you more. If you give me just a moment, I can finish checking check in our equipment. You really are famous. <laughs> and for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. <laughs> I'm such a fanboy. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. If you come to answer the petition, you should speak with my colleague here. The adventurer comes to answer my petition, I presume? We're most fortunate to have one of your considerable skills here to aid us. <coughs> Why is my throat dry out of nowhere? A creature of unknown origin has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe the uh, princess have, uh, has affected the local fauna. <coughs> The animals beyond this gate are the worst affected we've encountered through as far, though that we dare not to go back. Your task is to quell any threats you find and search for the trace of the beast responsible for all this. If you shouldn't find anything, anything at all, we would be more grateful if you would share it with us. I'll handle this. Oh. Ah, she's gonna do LB. Oh, maybe. Okay, yeah, she did. Is that all? Come on, let's pick up the creature's trail. You find a, a ravaged beast remains, torn to shred by sharp talon. These claw marks. I've seen their like before. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. Where do we go? Ah, oh, there. You find feathers. Uh, you find feathers are scattered about about the ground. There are signs of a fierce struggle. Feathers, but did they belong to the predator or the prey? So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? Yeah. Oh, over there. Animal leaving. The cloyest uh, stench of fresh living cells your nostril. Whatever beast left them is likely still close by. I'm guessing leaving would be like poop. Still be fresh. Whatever this beast, it cannot be far. Oh, right there. Yeah, but maybe they don't want to fight. Let's head back and report what we found. Yeah, I mean, something like that triggers them to fight, I guess. By what um, the scientist said. What are you doing over there? To be honest, she was like me at the beginning, when I did that uh, dungeon the first time. 
Oh. Powerful wings and razor sharp talons. <laughs> Worthy prey. Oh. Oh my god, it's a giant uh toucan. What is that thing? <laughs> the screen. Ah, he repeats! <laughs> it's an actual parrot. It speaks? Well, it repeats. It's a parrot, it can do the same sound as us. Well, I don't believe uh, toucans can do that, but uh. It's heading towards the falls. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. I don't do the physical work. Come, Wuklamat. Right. She was so stunned. I the fact that the two can't speak. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Seeing on that point of view. <laughs> Clear. I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise. That's all. <laughs> Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. It might not be safe to eat. <laughs> yeah, it's just repeating. <sighs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit. Okay. Talk all you like, bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. Oh, God. Uh, calm down. <laughs> yeah, shut up already, you blasted bird. Short tempered, eh? Whoa. Whoa, 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 I wasn't looking for a second. I've never seen such an enormous colibri. Colibri? Oh, that's the actual name of it? Yeah, giant colibri. Oh, good. Quickly, gather together. Ew! Ew! <laughs> that was too close. Ew. Steady now. Again. Okay, I should go there. There we go. <laughs> Are you gonna? Okay, yeah, attack the. Uh... Okay. 
a lot. Okay, now we attack the wings. Huh. That was hardly a tickle. Hardly a tickle. Try this. Okay. Gonna do LT. Oh. I'm not I'm I don't have um actual warrior unlocked so I don't know if that's an actual a new move or not I'm not sure so I would need to uh keep me uh, let me know if that is the case or not But it's on as I leveled up, even though I'm max at the, at the moment. Hmm. And I had barely limbered up. Oh, your show <laughs> off. <laughs> It was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. <laughs> oh, only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. It's back. But what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural. They don't grow so big, or use such dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? I Sounds like a robot. Despicable. Otherwise, I could have... easily... <laughs> Ooh, the big eyes. Big kitty eyes. Leave this to me. <gasps> Ah, she changed. <laughs> ah! Cute, cute crow. Crow. Okay, we're good. Terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Cute. Easier to move, it seems, at least. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. Okay. Is that one of the stones? The, the earring so she has? this is what you meant by seeing to preparations. After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. Yep! <laughs> She's adorable. Yes, join us. Be part of the action. <laughs> In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. There could be more. <gasps> That was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. <laughs> May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... <sighs> inadequate... I chose to provide support from afar, rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. Mm. That's what inspired this change. 
Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. It's cute. Especially since she's a Lalafeld, the brush is very small. It's very cute! Ah! <laughs> and after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. And so, is that technically she's the first one ever to, well, at least in 14, to be a necromancer? Uh, no, necromancer. Pictomancer. Or maybe her grandfather was one and teaches her? <laughs> With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon realm, Pictomancy. <laughs> As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather, Galuf, and turned up among the students' archives. Oh, okay, so it's an actual old letter. It's not new, but with old materials that was sent to her. But it's... Okay, so the grandfather is not actually over there. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. Uh... Gulul, someone. Jaja. Gulul Jaja. That's my father. Idon's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn servant himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. Would she actually know? Or maybe with the emblem of, like, the, um... Uh... It's quite... Uh, the Cid de Chandel. What's the word? You know the candle, what it's warm and melt on it, so you can do a stamp? I forgot what the word is. But in French, it's, uh... La cire. Pas cidre. La cire. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Tuliyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. Mm. Wax. Wax. That's what that's what I was searching for. But instead Thank of you. elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. <laughs> so the letter is fraudulent, then? Maybe not. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. 
It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yolal. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? Hmm. By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. There's something that I feel it's a bit annoying. Uh, on the shoulder? Let, let's go there. You see like there's fur, but then there's like a... A hole, like there, there's like a bald patch. Well, it's not bald. bald. We know there's fur everywhere, everywhere, but it goes like this, it looks like. And there's nothing there. I don't know. I find that weird, but... No, no, no. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. We're eating that. We don't need to. Oh, no! Not the bird! Bacon. Do you have some bacon? Well, no. There's a f uh, famished face if I've ever seen one. But can I get you, cow? Uh, we have like a freaking huge amount of meat. Oh, oh, bird meat from the hunt, you say? Leave it to me. I have just the recipe. It's a new dish I recently learned from some sailor. And for you lot, it's on the house. Have, a, have as much as you'd like. You hear? Thank you. Oh. Come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Oh. Hmm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. Okay, that makes me hungry. Oh my god, some butter chicken. I want some. What is this? Oh, it smells spicy. <laughs> and it is. Oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. What's gonna be her reaction? It's gonna be. <laughs> According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. <gasps> it's it's zero. <laughs> okay, but that that Fima Razgar, I fr what? Uh, for what? I forgot the name, but uh, she's gonna be the comical one. <laughs> so he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. <laughs> It's zero that is the cause of this. It's nothing I can't handle. Oh, the eyes, <laughs> she's so teary. <laughs> Your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. <laughs> Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? Whoa, look at that I bone. Thick as thieves since we were little. Oh, in, in the camera, it's a bit hard to see, but um, the way she's holding it, we see all the meat and the bone part. Pretty cool. For the animation. I beg to give her. She is a long standing acquaintance. Nothing more. So sassy. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. 
There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. <laughs> well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. And that's how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. What do you mean? A man who is too ambitious by half. The brother, maybe? Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. Hmm. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Hmm. Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. Okay. It's like not seeing us as tools, but it's like um, companions, teammate that can help you achieve the goal, pretty much. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. Makes sense. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. Are we though? And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hyolal? Tuli Hyolal. No. You don't need to decide right this moment. Well, we will anyway. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. Until the competition In that is case, done. Allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. Oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? <laughs> A big loot on. Oh, it's just despite all that we've learned. I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. No, for sure. There's too much we don't know. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wurklamat's request? I 
I never say no to a new adventure. I'm still undecided, to be honest. I'd rather not get involved in politics. Well, it is an adventure. And our boy, Graha, wants to have an adventure. We're, so we're gonna do that. Ha! Huh. I thought you might say that. With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? The voice! Ah! So good. <laughs> oh my god, I... I find myself very cringe for doing like ah! <laughs> over just like voice like really good voice acting, but I'm a fan. What can I say? I wish it wouldn't be cloudy like Such that. Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had. All the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. <laughs> Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. Oh, <laughs> my cat was like it out conflating my mind. It she she wanted attention but she doesn't want me to pick her up. That's not But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Don't leave me. <laughs> I don't know. You little spy, Thancred. Why, why were you spying on this? Oh. What? Why was he there? Is he gonna come join in chat with us or what? What's happening? Welcome back, Yaru. If you're looking for Wu Klamat, she's currently with the other in her chamber. If you if you'd like it, I can go and fetch them for you. Sure. Understood, please wait in the main hall. Destination. You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on then. Let's hear it. 
I wish to uh, boldly go where I've never gone before. I've never been one to turn down an adventure. I'll do it. Hmm. Hmm. Which one should I choose? Yeah, I prefer the first one. Oh god, that music. Hmm. Then you need me as much as I need you. Together we'll blaze new trails in Tural. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? <laughs> She decided herself that they're going. Alpha no, Alize, what are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah. You must be the twins who are sneaking after Erinville's toads. <laughs> he told them about that. Hundred things about us you could have told her, and you chose that. <laughs> That's cute. First impressions last. <laughs> True. I agree. I agree. Oh. <laughs> It is an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister Alize. Okay, the fact that Alphano is the most like gentleman and like gentle and polite as ever, having to interact with with her, it's got it's it's gonna be a rough on him. <laughs> That's what I feel. It's gonna be like. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. <laughs> so. You want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolo, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? Nonsense. Like I told you before, you're indispensable. They're strong, I. But strangers to our land, they need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. Mm. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. What is it, Kral? <clears throat> As I recall, Kryl, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Oh? Are you having th second thoughts? Still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. Someone for the shows. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadel's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. Ojika. But, Ra. Oh. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. 
so cute. Well, so cute. Looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. I suppose now Agra. is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. A map of Tulal. There. Hmm. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world. Created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural. That oh, was it gonna be the credit? But what's the thing with Thancred that was spying on us? Meanwhile, in blah blah blah, in Limsa Limsa, what are we doing there? <laughs> when does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? Tal. The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. <laughs> West, you say? So is that gonna be even part of both teams? He's just gonna wander himself by himself. That <laughs> that's funny. Okay, but what about Thank Renéryanger? Meanwhile, at old Charlian. Is that gonna be them? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they got a letter from the brother. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades, too, are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Pretty sure that's what's gonna, gonna happen. Indeed. It will be a grueling task, having to contend with them. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. He's so cheeky! <laughs> <laughs> Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. <laughs> This will be a mission to remember. It kind of looks like he, if he's looking at us, but it's a bit too high, so maybe he's looking directly to Rianji. Okay. Did he like rub an ass? <laughs> That's what it looked like. Come, like my friend, we make for Tarah. <laughs> it really looked like he took like an ass cheek from Rianji. <laughs> <sighs> T 
tell me. Have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Okay, it's just the memories. That it, what you've told us. Last time we saw him. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offerd's north. The fabled golden cities of the new world. That was a very caring voice from Emmet. When Erker now the tide is high and doubt of new adventure night. Roll force to break horizontal bond and uh, thread the I'm not quick enough! God damn it! To be good to do We've done it! We've done it, my friends. Okay. What now? 